Hey guys, this is a companion piece to a blog post I'm going to write about considering switching from tiny tiny RSS to Miniflux. And um, there are just a few things that are a little bit easier to show in uh, video versus you know spending a bunch of words describing it. Um, that said, I'll kind of go over some of the some of the finer points here, and uh, once I get the blog post written, I will update the. Um, description of this video to point to that blog post. So essentially, one day on self-hosted on subreddit, I saw this post where this guy was basically saying that um, the PHP on um, tiny tiny RSS is not so good. And some people looked through, and a lot of people uh, who actually looked through it said it wasn't so good. And uh, to be honest, I wasn't a hundred percent. I wasn't 100% um, in love with, with it, although I have been using it ever since Google Reader closed. So I don't remember exactly how long that's been, but maybe close to a decade. Um, but anyway, so here's what Tiny Tiny RSS looks like when I first started up. For comparison, here's Miniflux. Subscribe to all the same um, news feeds. So a couple things that uh, Tiny Tiny RSS has in its favor is um, all the categories here that I've created. I can kind of jump to them as soon as I log in. I can say, oh, um, you know, I'm at work and I'm eating my lunch and I have a little bit of time before I have to get back to work. Let me see what John Scalzi's writing about. And I come here and I see the stuff and um, I can really quickly go through it, which I'll demonstrate in a second, which is the biggest reason why, it's, why I wanted to make the video show how quickly you can scroll through stuff. Whereas here, I'd have to click um, first on categories, um, then uh, where's Scalzi? I think he's in blogs. Let's go to blogs. Okay, and here's a Scalzi thing, or I could go to feeds. Okay, where's Scalzi in all of these? However, these are organized. Maybe it's by the newest one. I'm not sure. And try and find him in here somewhere. So on that part, points to tiny, tiny RSS. Um, one other uh, point in tiny tiny rss's favor is that as long as i have this window open it's updating my rss feeds in the background um the only bad or you could use a cron job which i never did set up because this is running uh on a vps where um I, it's i just only recently found out i could do cron jobs it's kind of locked down compared to if you just um if you just have a server on digital ocean or linode um and so, um, you know, but this one, so far, I haven't gotten too deep into the documentation. It looks like the only way to get more stuff is to click on refresh all feeds in the background. And that'll go, and it won't slow you down as it's as it's happening. Um, so as long as you remember to do that, and I've got, I mean, well, in reality, I've got 144 unread articles. But, um, you know, so there's that. It was nice that the OPML... Um, exported from tiny tiny to mini flux and it did create all the categories um, okay so the biggest thing that I needed to that I wanted to show on here is how like let's say I'm, I'm in the I'm going in the morning and I've got a bunch of stuff to get there I can kind of like click on here okay that's interesting okay that's interesting okay that's interesting I can kind of go pretty quickly through uh, whereas um, if I actually want to see what's in it here, I have to go, I have to click on it. Okay. And then click on it. Or let's say here's, here's one problem with doing the click on it thing. Um, let's say that, um, I want to know what's in here so that I know whether I want to keep it on red. Yeah, I do want to keep it on red. I want to read that later. That looks kind of interesting. I come back here to go. So that's a, it's a few more clicks for certain things um, versus here, which is I can just kind of like quickly go through a few things. Uh, that said, um, since uh, Miniflex is written in Go, Tiny Tiny RSS and PHP, as you saw from this guy's article, um, it is super fast. Like it's 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 like a native app. There's really no. It's not like you have to wait for this thing to load. It's boom. Um, it's also got this fetch original content thing, which kind of 
brings in whatever was on the page. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty much the, those are the, the big things that to show that there's more clicks on Miniflux, whereas here it's kind of a lot less clicks to see things, to get an idea for, oh, okay, there's this many um, news articles and there's um, this many webcomic articles. Uh, I will say one plus for Miniflux is that it has a responsive design, so you don't need an app, whereas Tiny Tiny RSS needs a paid app. All right, so like I said, I'll post the blog post um, URL in the description as soon as I get that written. Thanks. Bye.